hey hey welcome guys welcome back to sell with me Shirley mimi where you get the juicy gist i see the hearts hope you guys have a lovely day hope you had a lovely day actually hope your day was stress-free even if it was stressful hope it is what it that is what matters so guys in the spirit of tbt that is, we know today is Thursday, and every Thursday there's something called TBT Throwback Thursday. So, in the spirit of Throwback Thursday, I would like you guys to share with me the f- your favorable moments in the house, the moments you loved watching in Big in Big Brother's Titan House. Okay, as for me, Mimi, just me, me, the moment I loved and I enjoyed that I missed also was the moment between these two, the um, Katabang, Kosi, and Diemi. Like I loved, I enjoyed watching how jealous Yemi is seeing Tabanga around Kosi. And the sweetest thing about this thing was Yemi never saw Tabang coming. Yemi never even envisaged that Taban would be a threat to his ship. Until what happened happened. He was like, really? Before Yemi eyes was just on miracle, miracle, miracle. Until <laughs> he did not know how Tabang, you know, tiptoed into the ship. You know, and he was like, ah. So this guy would be a problem in the house. So I loved that moment. I loved the moment where Tabang and Kosi would be together and Yemi would be looking at, at Kosi. And to the, for the fact that Yemi had to give Blue Eva a space so as to focus on Kosi. That is how much Yemi liked Kosi in the house, you know. And Kosi promised Yemi that she will never, that she will live to stop being close with Tabang if Yemi stopped being close to Blue Eva. But when Yemi stopped being close with Blue Eva, did Kosi stop? No, Kosi did not. To the extent where I loved most was, was when um, Kosi was trying, Kosi and Tabang were trying to stay apart, you know. And then Kosi was begging Yemi to please allow her to speak to Tabang. Or more, I was like, really, really. Anyways, let me not just go too deep about it, but that was actually among my favorite moments in the house. So let's share yours with me. So my favorite moments in the house, one of my favorite moments in the house that I missed as at right now is Yemi, Tabang, and Kosi moments. Okay, hey, that is what I actually miss. So let me know yours in the comment section because you just throw me down back memory lane, you know. To think about like uh, that was when yemi left the house i was so pissed i was like why would this boy leave the house this boy is actually giving me drama why will he leave it, it, it pissed me off when the yellies are left the house they are one pair that left that really hurts me so share with me in the comment section i'll be there with you guys meanwhile still talking about going down memory lane still talking about throwback you remember um v of pepe them v you know v was pepe them 2019 while in 2020 lockdown v cousins new actually appeared on the show now you'll be wondering what's brought about them what brought me about them was that while after you know neo was dating v in the house even as at a point in time when they got outside the house but v was not having it v never wanted new and um sorry um what was this lady's name What's this lady's name again? This um, new sister, Venita. Venita, sorry, Venita never wanted V and New in the in the relationship. She said she does not want New to date V. You know, at a point, Nelisa like joke like play on Nelisa stop all connection with with her brother because of v because new said v would not tell him whom he would be with that he loved v with all of his heart you know but it, what's not bro what not surprised me is seeing them together new posted this today and i saw them together i was like wow my oh my so now that v and new is no longer together the sibling ship has started again Wahala, no griefing issue. So if Neo was still with V, Venita would still be far away from his brother. This life, eh? Anyways, Kanaga Jr., I think he's in his feelings and he's missed his dad as he posted this. He said, keep resting, dad. The goal is to keep putting a smile on your face each time you look down. Aww. May he so continue to rest in peace, my darling. Of course, you are actually doing well. You are not just even putting a smile on his face. The face of the thousand, you are putting face in the, you are like you are putting smiles on the faces of thousands of people, you know, who has come to love, cherish your person, you know. So yeah, may your dad so continue to rest in the Lord bosom. So guys, let's enter deep. You know, we are in the season of 
talk discussing in general about big brother niger big brother titan okay he said name that big brother ship that i know you the most that you wanted to cause those shipping them that ship that annoyed you the most that you wanted to cause those shipping them this person he said his own is imaros really you never like them right my own is when imaros were having that thing i knew that ship would never work I knew that ship would never was like the quarrels. You just go pull yourself for Gwege. I knew it would never work, but I was like mm, enjoying the moments in the house. But I never thought of causing any uh, causing the ship. But you see this Kobang that is doing this thing that they are doing now outside the house. That one is actually getting to my head. Like what is this? Okay. Another one is who was the housemate that you supported during the show and stopped supporting immediately after the show ended due to some reasons? Me, Erika. This person said his own is Erika. So, so this thing is true. Like, you'll be supporting a housemate in the house. Is this possible? You support a housemate in the house. Then, outside the house, you, you, you chose someone else. I do not believe this until I saw this. Meanwhile, if you ever did this kind of a thing, let me know in the comment section. Like, you supported your favor, your food chest in the house. When the person now left the house, that you're supposed to support the person more. You now choose another person. Well, someone else should verify. Let me know in the comment section. If you've ever done that, let me know in the comment section. And let me know who the person is okay cheesy is saying good night yet again for another violence day achieved he said nice interacting with you all today we go again tomorrow please as unusual fina send pictures of the kind of man you need don't come telling me it is more money Hell, cheesy i told you to leave fina my baby alone leave her the hell alone okay stop shipping them in fact it's okay find another thing and do <laughs> Cheesy, don't poke this housemate tire. It takes somebody that that will not even be serious with the job and be like, mm, this one don't start in here yeah, again. Meanwhile, we enjoyed it and it made me even have something to gist about with you guys, you know. So Cheesy, you do this one, you do well. We are waiting for you tomorrow. Hope tomorrow will be more chaotic and more the violence will be more more buzz balls. That's what we want, you know. All right, guys, I will be ending this video on this note. Ji said. Every big brother housemate call your fans to order when you see them going out of line. Be it your solo fans or your shipping fans. At times, your silence creates even more drama for you. So some housemates are part of the blame that chose to be extremely silent. Yeah, I accept this. It is nice. It is good you call your fans to order. Meanwhile, I have seen some call their fans to order. Yeah, they know they answer them. They know send. They keep doing what they want to do. But it is good you just clear your name and tell them, please, oh, stop this and stop that. It will actually make sense. So, guys, in the spirit of throwback, let me know what you feel in the comment section. I will be there with you guys as usual. Bye for now, guys. I am signing off with my full chest. Of course, you know I love you. Mwah.